Hey everyone, this is Mystic Veteran, um, bringing you your weekly uh, Oracle Energy, and I pulled four cards for this week. Uh, there is two different decks I used. First deck I used, let's see, is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Guidebook by Kim Kranz, and I also used my Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. So, uh, the first card is for the beginning of the week. Uh, second card is for the middle of the week. And the third card for the end of the week. And then I pulled an car extra card for uh, overall energy for the week. So I will read the definition of the cards and then I will go over it uh, to give you any other information that I pick up. And my cat Harmony is going to kind of join us sort of for the reading by just kind of laying there with her fishy with catnip. All right. Uh, swan in reverse. Uh, swan. Effortless creativity, sensitive, mystic, elegant power. The swan represents heightened creativity. In Hindu mythology, the goddess uh, Saraswati, Swati, oh, I can't pronounce that, uh, the embodiment of language, creativity, and art artistry, rides on the back of this graceful creature. The swan is ready to take us there, to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting. This potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly. When the swan card appears, your soul is calling for attention, for solo time. An inner voice is waiting to be heard. An inner vision likely to be revealed. So when it's in balance, uh, you have infinite creative power. When it's out of balance, like it is right now, you're agitated, snippy, and lacking vision. To bring back into balance, take solo time and do some writing. That's for the beginning of the week. I'll do this for the second card. Which is... Panther. Panther, Panther, Panther. Oh, I think I found it. So, Panther. Uh, annihilation of the unnecessary, purging. The Panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. Instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us toward more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences, and they've made us better people. Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. When in balance, uh, you are brave and productive. When out of balance, you are self-destructive, and to bring back into balance, get rid of the unnecessary. But right now, it's in balance, so you are brave and productive. So that was the middle of the week. Now, the rabbit for the end of the week, in reverse. Rabbit. Is oh, it's that one. Okay. Oh, give me a minute. I'm trying to find it. Why is it not? It's considered air. That's interesting. How the rabbit was air. Huh. Wow, this is a really tricky one to find. I don't think rabbit would be. Oh, maybe it's something there's just. Uh, he's earth, not air. I got that mixed up. Oh, come on. There it is. Rabbit. Rabbit is earth. 
So I forgot to say, swan is actually water. Panther is... Mm, I'll have to figure that one. And rabbit is earth. Hold on, let me look. Fire. Okay. So swan is water, panther is fire, and rabbit is air. That's interesting. So water, fire, and air. Ooh. All right. Rabbit. Uh, afraid of everything, overwhelmed, frozen. The rabbit loves to remind his friends that someday the eagle will swoop down and eat him. He talks and talks and talks about it so loudly, in fact, that one day the eagle hears and thanks him for the great idea. <clears throat> rabbit energy is alive when we are scared, most often about the future, and we become our own worst enemy. We spin up a dust cloud of fear and then complain to others that we are lost. Uh, notice your thoughts and words, O oh rabbit. They shape your destiny. So when in balance, you're sensitive, a problem solver, and a good listener. But if you're out of balance, like now, it means you over-explain and talk too fast. To bring back into balance, a day of silence. So, we need, looks like the beginning of the week is going to be kind of rough. Uh, time of reflection, as you can see the swan's reflection in the lake. So, beginning of this week, we should take some time to self-reflect to uh it is the holiday so most of us are at home so that's a perfect time to kind of relax and take some time to ourselves kind of like my katie uh, my kitty's doing right now and um do some writing now's a good time to do some writing uh, i'm in college so i have no other choice but to write <laughs> so and i am going to be taking a lot of solo time so this is kind of perfect so that's water. And water can also mean emotions. So maybe kind of emotionally taking a step back, you know, not investing your emotions into anything right now. Uh, just keeping to yourself. Just temporary. It's it's a holiday, so it can be a very emotional time. So maybe the beginning of this week, take some time out emotionally and uh, to yourself. And the panther, he looks pretty fierce. Uh, he's, this is fire energy, so you want to, uh, it's, this is probably going to be around the time of Christmas, and maybe a little bit after Christmas, because, what is it, uh, 24th, is it Christmas is Wednesday, so yeah, this is around Christmas time, so this is a good time to start getting rid of clutter, also, you know, with all your presents and stuff you're going to be opening up, if not, uh, if you're just going to be by yourself this holidays, I recommend going through and just taking time to kind of clear out um, any clutter you don't need anymore. Start donating a lot of stuff. Don't have to throw everything away, but it's good to organize and find out what you don't want anymore. Maybe even not only donate, but sell some things for, you know, a low price. Say you have a small space heater you don't need anymore because you already have heat in your house and the space heater was just temporary could sell that for a couple bucks on say Facebook marketplace or Craigslist or whatever or you can donate it it's up to you um, fire energy means you you'll have a lot of uh, you'll be fired up about a lot of things um, maybe have some energy use that wisely I know it's kind of winter break so maybe like use that to go through your house and it's gonna take a lot um, like me, I need that fire energy to start unpacking since I just moved. And I have a, I'm have going to start throwing stuff away and donating stuff so that when I move again, I'll have a lot less. So that's for that. Um, and rabbit, which actually this should be like this. We're all kind of like, you know, maybe some people are afraid of the new year starting because things are changing. Uh, that's normal. I've actually seen quite a few rabbits running across the road early in the morning when dropping off my kids at school. And that may be a totem that I need to look up or a spirit animal. And these all have different definitions other than what's in the book. That's this, The definitions read are just for 
the person that did this oracle deck, but you can also go and look up separately what a swan means, what a panther means, and what a rabbit means uh, as a spirit animal. But a rabbit can represent fear, <coughs> and a fear of the unknown, a fear of the future. And one way is to just kind of live in the moment. And I think this is a, it's a different animal, but the same energy carrying over from last week. I remember us being something but living in the moment not being afraid of the future uh, so not don't be like the rabbit you know you can be like a rabbit be swift and smart about things but no need to be scared about everything all the time but rabbits are scared for a reason obviously because they're trying to like predators there's nothing wrong with that but you don't need to be afraid all the time so uh just think about that for a minute and then now I'm going to read the final overall energy, which is kind of interesting because today is the beginning of winter solstice. Oh, it's okay, kitty. I'm going to try to kick you off the bed. She just adjusted. Uh, I got the wolf, which is winter. Take care of your needs. And since it is actually officially winter, and I did draw this on the winter solstice, that's a pretty good sign. And wolves in general are teachers. They come into our lives, uh, spiritual teachers, when you need to learn a lesson or when you need protection spiritually. So I will look that up real quick. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, here it is. Winter. Winter, winter, winter. Oh, I gotta search. Okay, winter. It's spring, oh, winter seasons, autumn, spring, back here somewhere. A couple more pages. There it is, winter. All right, winter. Do everything you need to need to be at your best then move beyond your fears and limitations for many of the animal realm winter is a time of hibernation and retreat you may wish to curl up in a ball too but although you may not feel as bright as you like to be a primal force within is encouraging you to continue the winter card features a wolf uh, one of few animals that stay active all year round Wolves know what it's like to work alone or thrive within a pack. So if you feel you need to go it alone at this time, know the wolf medicine will help you move beyond your insecurities and relax in your own space. Uh, you have an opportunity to move beyond your fears. Although you may feel in the dark, get comfortable with being in the unknown and trust that the light within you will sustain you through what may seem a challenging process. Ask yourself what you need to do to feel supported and alive. You may uncover something from your past that you have buried deep. Know that when you unearth it and shed light on it, you create space for miracles. You may feel like a lone wolf right now, but it's time for you to be the alpha. When the winter card arrives in the future position of a spread or a, as the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming winter will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions. So yeah, I've noticed... That the swan card, the wolf card, and the rabbit card all talk about being alone. And you may be a person this may resonate with who is spending holidays alone. And that's okay. I mean, sometimes we do find ourselves alone for the holidays. That doesn't mean you're actually really alone. Call up family, call up friends, uh, or just take the time to be by yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Um... The swan talks about taking uh, solo time and do some writing. The rabbit talks about a day of silence, not talking to anybody, just taking some time to like do whatever you want to do, but no need to talk about it. You know, like say you're taking solo time, so you're not going to be talking to anybody. And the winter card talks about the lone wolf as being like, you know, alone uh, in the winter time, maybe during the holidays. And even panthers uh, can be lone animals. They can be um, by themselves. They're not always together in, um, like in groups. Like uh, once they're done mating, the female usually is the one to raise uh, the cubs alone while the male, you know, goes away and does his own thing. So 
So these all relate to being alone. See, there's a beauty in that. There's a strength in that. And even though you're scared, you could be smart about that. And you will learn a lesson from it. So take all this, you know, with a grain of salt. This is just advice and the energy for the week. And if it resonated with you, great. Um, you could please uh, leave a comment in the, in the comment section on how it resonated with you. If it didn't resonate, I'm sorry. It's just a general reading, not a personal reading. And it's just for the energy for the week. So as the week progresses, you may, in fact, um, meet these type of energies. Or these energies will play out in your life. And with this being the overall energy, you know, you just kind of see how they all connect. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Happy holidays. Blessed Yule. And have a good time.